And every time I saw them, I couldn't help but start smiling just because it was so funny. It's a British coming of age uh, comedy drama about uh, my character Otis, who's this kind of awkward high schooler who lives at home with his mum, Julian. He's a sex therapist, and therefore is kind of terrified of sex, but has a weird understanding about the workings of it. And he uses this knowledge to start an underground sex therapy clinic at school. Um, I play Jean Milburn, Otis's mom, and I am a professional sex therapist and um, a somewhat inappropriate, boundaryless mother. So there's some very funny scenes between the two of them where she is uh, checking up on him just a little too much. The ease at which his mum just sort of seemingly just discusses it and sort of flaunts her uh, yeah. um, her sexuality. It, it makes him feel even more, more and more uncomfortable. I mean, he's he is awkward and he has and he, there's a lot of things he struggles with. He, he wants to be under the radar. He doesn't really want anyone to know who he is. Just get through school and get on with his life. And uh, and then when he when he realizes he does have something to offer and he has this gift um, and and and. This girl Maeve, who he meets, kind of brings it out of him and he realises maybe there is some more excitement to be had. I mean, at the start, he's a bit ropey. He's not just immediately a great therapist. He definitely has some teething problems and he gets his, he gets his feet eventually. You know, it's a very honest, frank, unflinching look at teenage sex and teenage sexuality. And um, uh, it's so refreshing in that way, I think. And, and we were lucky and, and we found it actually very easily. We settled into this relationship, this dynamic quite nicely. And it was very mm -hmm. funny, but very real. Um, we both found ourselves quite at home in, in the this, this, this set that they built. We had our little areas, so I'd, I'd be there like sort of playing the piano as Julian was in the corner reading a book. It literally did feel like yeah. we were kind of a family yeah. in uh, doing what we've been doing for the last 15 years.